<laughs> Some coins have been taken from me. Green footprints. Could be a child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. It is shrouded within an eternal twilight. You live here. Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children. But your stealth needs work. Ah, oh, we were close. We will give you what we took, traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once, a long, long time ago, in a faraway land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans. And cake. But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake. And we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There's no shame in surviving, and there's nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live this way either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers.
sends the twisted Sado on the air. Just fate has befallen this one. A poor victim of someone's fury. Are you here for blood? Like all of those wretched others? Speak! Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them! All the unkind dead! Now I open the scars of my heart! Seder, you sing troll! Breathe deeply! Watch as I become smoke! And listen as I break your bones! Praise the glass in Odin's Hall. Another war begins. Too weak and too wild! Just fate has befallen this one. Baldis must have got to them. The brothers' fleet, gathered and ready. Those men must have heard the horn's call. The people of East Anglia have more courage than I imagined. Hey, I'm finally so, put my longship to use again. I was tired of it gathering dust. Our ships are sturdy, but Berg's walls are sturdy. Hey, boy. Word. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. Forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruud's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel.
Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed! For Oswald! For Oswald! For Oswald! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruid's clan once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams, life, maybe they are one and the same. Tonight, I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear day. A watcher alight on water's wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruid shit stains will see us coming. Oh, no. 
Oswald. He lives. Oswald lives! Eva, is that you? Shut your arse, twig spine. <clears throat> Stand fast. This will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop. <clears throat> Silence, fool. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize. Come and get him. <clears throat> Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor. Including you. Thank you. I 
should speak with Oswald. See if he's well. Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you're not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. <laughs>